My name is Susan Hayden. I'm an artist, and I find a lot of inspiration in nature. But I wanted to experience a different kind of landscape. So I decided to go to Arizona, because I knew that I would find a great deal of natural beauty there. I also went because I wanted to meet the Navajo people and experience some of their culture. I landed in Phoenix, capital city of Arizona, and met my guide, Charlene. I was going to spend a few days with her at her mother's ranch. As I was traveling in the Jeep with Charlene, I was very much looking forward to meeting her mom, Helen, because I heard that she ran uh, hundreds of acres of land all by herself. Hello, Helen. Nice to meet you. Looks like you're doing a lot of hard work out here today. I'm impressed. We could communicate easily, despite the fact that Helen couldn't speak English and I couldn't speak a word of Navajo. As we uh, walked with the dogs, as they herded the sheep out towards the mesa, Helen told us that she carries a, a case of dog food on her shoulder 10 miles every day to take to the dogs while they're herding the sheep alone up on the mesa. I couldn't picture my mother walking 10 miles in her high heel shoes <laughs> back in the city. On the last day of my trip to Arizona, Charlene took me to Monument Valley, an area of beautiful stone structures. Oh, God. <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you for bringing me here. I think this trip to Arizona changed me in several ways. I realized even more that people are people, and for instance, Helen, who spoke no English, and yet we had no trouble establishing rapport and having a really good time. Uh, second of all, I love nature, and I've always been moved by it, but I never realized how profoundly I could be affected by things like Monument Valley, Canyon de Chelly. And I was still amazed at the profound effect that seeing these huge monuments had on me. I felt totally liberated. It felt wonderful. <laughs>